Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Just Brilliant Adventures with Roz and Dave. Previously, we took you through the JB factory and showed you how the chassis were put together, followed by the cabinetry. In this episode, we'll take you along the line and you can watch the vans being put together. I'm sure you will be amazed as much as what we were. It is fascinating to see how these Australian made caravans are put together. If you haven't already, go back and watch part one and two before watching part three. And for all you non-subscribers out there, make sure you tick that box, subscribe, and if you click on the bell, the notification bell, you will get any current updates that we put out. Enjoy the video. Okay, we've got Chris here. Now, Chris obviously works at JB. Uh, what is your role, Chris? Operations manager at JB Caravan, so pretty much look after the whole thing. Uh, it keeps me pretty busy. There's about 150 workers or so to look after, so it gets uh, pretty hectic at times. Here's where we do the building over here. Um, so we've got all the new CNC furniture, cut furniture, everything's slotted, everything's drilled. Uh, so it's all done beforehand, so there's no thinking involved with anything here. Um, it's very just easy, easy furniture just to put together. So this is the way of the new furniture. Everything's slotted and drilled, so there's no thinking involved. Um, you'll find that the whole van is designed like that, so nothing can be put in the wrong place. Uh, all the electrical will get done, uh, all the internal fitting will get done here, all the hinge holes, all the plates for the striker plates for the doors. So everything's done beforehand, so it's just a lot easier flow to get through. So I noticed um, you have two ways of doing it. One where you've done all the cabinetry, then the sides go on. Yes, this is good. Where you do the sides and that's then the a, cabinetry goes that's in. That's the, the traditional way. Now this is, like I said, the new way of building from inside out. Uh, where, like I said, it's, it's a bit easier this way. That way you can do all the wiring, all the uh, plumbing uh, from the inside out. And it's just a lot easier to work with. That's the way it's going to change eventually. Why has it taken this long to work that out? Uh, time, money, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of resources, there's a lot of thinking involved in the new ways of doing it. Uh, it obviously looks like a lot easier way to it, do, and even like it to is, get your fridges yes, and stuff in, I yes. suppose, before putting the doors and all that Well, on the fridges the will go in later anyway, regardless, because yeah. you've got to have serviceability in case they do break down, you can get them out of the door, or the windows anyway. But most of it, it's just easier to work with. Um, you get probably a lot less problems when you're doing the wiring on, on this, uh, the, the new build because uh, it's, we, we, we stable the aluminium or stable the walls, you don't hit any wires. So it's a lot easier with all the wires internal. So you'll see oh, so the they routes. run in the channels. Yeah, you'll see all the routes for the wires. Yep. Uh, they'll run through from cupboard to cupboard. They'll run through the channeling up the top there. In the top there. Is this, is this still going to have the traditional wooden walls go on it? Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah. Now, You've got two different styles of vans, obviously you've got a smaller van and then you've got the off-road vans yes, or yep. the on-road, off-road. Yep. Somebody earlier on mentioned something about stage one or stage two, line one, line two. Line one, line two, yes. Okay. So, so they're all the off-roads. Off-roads is in there? Yes. And on-road? Correct. Oh, yes. In here, yes. Right, eh? And are you doing the same with them as doing the cabinetry that, beforehand or? All the cabinetry, all the, it's just built as you see as the one you're getting mm -hmm. uh, is built from the outside in. Okay. Yes. No yeah, so we start putting the walls first and then we build on the inside where this way is inside and then the walls are last. As you can see on this van here where the plumbers run all the wire or the plumbing through or beforehand like I said it works out a lot easier rather than going inside the van you can work from outside the van. All the wiring gets done beforehand goes through the channeling. Let me ask you this. Yep. So that is easy yep. before the wall goes on. Yes correct. What happens once the van's finished and I found this on my van, yep. all right? I had to get my head in yep. under somewhere to try yep. to do it, and it was a, that's, was that's, a shit of yes. a position for yeah. me to get Correct. into. Correct. So there's, the... there's still access access points to get to your cupboards. you still got all your access from inside the cupboards. Everything's still accessible. It's like a car. When they're designed a car and you want to get to the heater, I mean, you've got to pull the dashboard apart. You've got to pull yeah. this. Everything's got to come apart. So this is virtually the same thing. So we're trying to compact everything, but we still have to make everything accessible yep. rather than pull aluminiums off, walls off, and it's becomes a big headache. So as you can see where the wire runs through the cavities, everything's hidden away. We know where everything is, so if, there, if we do get a problem, we know where to track the wires, we know where to find them all. This, is a, this comes as a wiring loom, all these ones. Uh, the other side is all, it's, it's all just done from scratch. 
Yep. So this is all wiring loom, so it all gets uh, ordered. Uh, comes with the charger, comes with all the bits and pieces, comes with the plug and play, and they just run the loom and then they just trim it off when it gets done. So everything is ordered beforehand. It's pretty impressive to see without all the shit yeah. on there. So these are all the bench tops that are already pre-cut on the CNC machines for all the models. Um, obviously this is the kitchen with the lift up lid. Uh, you've got the vanity over there. There's a laminated one there just uh, been done. Um, so everything is pre-cut on a CNC machine. They go inside the caravan, they'll mark it, they'll test fit it, they make sure it all fits exactly, then they'll go ahead and laminate it. Now, with the lamination part of it, we've got gluing uh, with the contact glue, and then we use, for the edging, we use a, a machine that does the edging. Uh, it's, uh, it's supplied by Festool, which um, it's, it's, it's a heat glue, and the edging goes on with that. It's just a hell of a lot easier than trying to do it with the spray. Yeah, so it's all edged first with this with this machine here. Uh, very expensive machine. We've got a few of them floating around now, and we do all our petitions with the same machine. So it's all it's all edged with this um, with this new machine, and it gets it's a lot easier and a lot faster. Like I said, we're, we're trying to get a bit of speed up. Yep. It's a production. We're Stream trying to get the flow. Streamlining it. Yes. Yes. So that's what we get out of the machine. After that's stuck on, obviously we trim it and uh, clean it up and then it goes on to the next stage with a spray paint where they do the spray uh, glue and laminate it. That's what the machine does here. Just puts the edging on, goes around the curves. You'll notice at the back here where the glue does go on, it's a consistent line of glue. So the edging doesn't peel off. And this is the finishing part of it. Yeah, that's all the edges, yes. And that's one of the finishing up products. So it just smooths it off? Yeah, it just cleans up the edge. It's just a bit of just taking the sharp edge off. As you can feel it, it's very sharp. Another finished one there. They whack the sinks in them. Sinks, everything goes on, so they just chuck them, throw them in the van with the sinks already in there. And then the plumbers go ahead and do their bit. This is all the CNC furniture. Uh, the waiting bay, obviously. Doors already get pre-hinged, put together. All the metal drawers all gets put together. So all this is just a basically, you pick it up and put it together. That's all it is. Rather than making frames and putting things the old way. So like just, going to Ikea and getting a flat pack. Pretty much. So before they hinge it, they have to pull off that coating anyway, otherwise once you put the hinge on, you can't get the plastic off. If you have a look over here, I mean this is just some of the bits and pieces, so it's like a big jigsaw puzzle. The guy's got his plans he works off, um, so everything gets put together according to the plan for the caravan. And like I said, everything is slotted and grooved, so it can only go one way, it can't go any other way. It must become very mundane. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. very repetitive, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Very repetitive. Which obviously it probably doesn't happen, but that would also uh, develop um, familiarity or whatever, yeah, blase yeah. sort and of thing. And you know what the thing is, when you're doing repetitive work like this, then you've got a customer that's done a change and the guys haven't read the plan, bang. That that's my me. biggest well, problem. That happened to me. Yeah. 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 They just, yes. we wanted shelves in the top of our yeah. cupboard. Yeah. We got yep. it up there in those shelves, yep. so the boys up there, but luckily he's a cabinet maker yep. up there, so he's put them in for me, but yep. like, I was just lucky. I'm him. trying to uh, educate my team leaders now to start reading the plans at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. You're only doing three or four vans a day, depends which area you're working in. Grab the plans in the morning, have a quick read yourself. If there's anything different, tell your workers about it, because they're, 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 they're going to miss it, yeah? Even though I trade them to read the plans, they're still going to f*** something up. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't want to be nice about it, that's how it yeah. is, that's production, yeah? 
Oh, and this corona thing has just killed everything. Oh, killed you said, it, it killed it. Oh, and you said 150 odd workers or something? Did you say? I, I've got, I've got average last year, um, last week, week before since we've started, I've had average about 45, 50 people away a day. What? A day. A day. A day. Out, out of I'm overall... down to about, I'm down to about 22 today, 19 yesterday, 24 the other day. So, I'm starting to get back on top of it. Starting. And usually average about six to eight a day, I, I normally average anyway. That's before corona. Yeah. Yeah. So. Wow. And I've got to deal with shuffling everyone and trying to multi-skill people. Insulation, yes, yes, yeah. That's a uh, sound deadening. Sound, oh, sound, sound deadening, dead. fireproof. So yeah, it's it's uh, it's actually not bad. We've been using it for years. Yeah. Again, prepping, insulation. They get the front and rear on. Then it moves into the the other area there where they do the side plating. Right. So they've only just put on the uh, yes the plates and yeah. stuff. And obviously they've got the brace on there for it to dry. This model here has got aluminium on the roof. Yep. Um, a lot, there's other ones with Thomas the panel on there. So that'll be just the wooden roof before that goes on, yeah? Yes, correct. And they just move them along the progress line, do they? Yep. Yeah. Every, probably by lunchtime, we'll move the line, then at the end of the day we'll move it again. Okay. Yeah. I don't want me to check a plate's ready to go on and like I said, we've got the Luca button ready to go on. Now, all your lighting and your cameras, yes. that goes on with the electrical part? Yes, yes. Yeah. <coughs> about to put the second plate when on. It, um, when it comes time, and let's say, pray to God it never happens, you damage your van, and I'm going to try and take off that aluminium. I'm going to tell you how hard it is to get off. It's it's hard. It, it it's very hard. Look well, yeah, how much glue he's got yes, on there. Yes. That's all silicon. When the sun hits these things, they they start moving. There's at least three millimeters of movement in it. We'll go into aluminium. Yep. So after this process, of course, goes the aluminium. How many different nationalities have you got working here? Uh, multicultural. Yeah. I think I've got, I've got everything here. I've got uh, Laos, I've got Philippines, I've got Greek, Italian, uh, Serbian. Uh, this is the, yeah, multicultural. So, so this is the van now, uh, plated up. Uh, that's with the, the uh, composite panel, uh, front and rear sides and the checker plate. There's still a lot of probably using the um, aluminium, of course. So they're still having the traditional aluminium, which is, a lot of people still like using it. It's a, it's a little bit more lighter, but it, it's all factored into the weight of the van anyway. So next step will be just to fill this up with silicon, put the J mold on, and then all the silicon oozes out, job done. So there's the van over there with the traditional aluminium. Yeah. Oh, what do you have on yours? Oh yeah. Yeah, I've gone with the one, uh, the grey, it comes from Germany, apparently you're too tight. Yeah, yeah, Guy bond. This is good. If you damage this, you can replace a panel. When you damage that, oh. you replace a panel, yeah? So that's, that's the only downside to it. So this is still good, still strong. But like I said, that's a clean look, easier to clean, yeah? There's something that I didn't know, with the, uh, the element, it overlaps, like on a, like on a fence. So if you damage it, you just replace the one panel. 
Obviously with the composite, you've got to do the whole entire wall. But with this, you're only replacing whichever the damaged panel is. So that's something to think about when you're actually deciding on whether you want to go aluminium or go composite. The other thing is weight. That's the other thing you've got to think about. The heat gun shrinking it. Trying to get make it softer, yep. it, it sticks to the van a lot better. Once it's heated, you'll find that once that sticker does go out into the sun, it bonds a lot better anyway. It, it, it just sort of clears it all up. It, it's, it, it's built for signs, yeah. So are they testing the lighting here or are they just... Yeah, they start, now this is all the fit-off area uh, where they'll start doing all the electrical fit-off. Doors, windows, roof, hatches, fridges, TVs, fans, everything gets done here is all the final fit-off. Uh, area, then it goes into the QC. So there's a, a lot of componentry going in here, a lot of componentry. This is, all, this is all part of the finishing, so, it's so the, the plumbers, electrical and finishing all gets done here.